All right, guys. There we go. Look at the team. Grand Finals. And then I got to start Smash 4. In fact, I need to start Smash 4 right now. Here we go, we're starting. The Wong and Holy Warrior. Holding it down. Looking like they both to take CCT. But then again, we got the run backers. We got Sean and Kel and TK. And they they don't want to lose this. I mean and like they haven't really been doing good team wise for the year. I think it's because like we had more like OP teams. We had uh, we had uh, J Pobs and Shin, kind of just cleaning it up. And then you know, we also had me and uh, we also had Holy Warrior and I. So it, it was it was kind of it's kind of back and forth. So now they have to go up against the brothers. Their game plan a lot more solid. Um, FD, I don't know how I feel about FD. FD is a stage to me. I feel like that goes more towards like characters that have strong killing upward moves, like Pikachu and Fox up smash. It just does so much damage on the stage, and like it, it's just it's just really good at just eliminating the competition and just destroying. So I don't know how I feel about it on the stage, but. I don't know if if red team could take this, it'll be a miracle to me. That's just my five cents on it. And you know, Dewong is playing really good. Like he's playing really strong. He's pushing the the game. Oh, that back throw into down smash! <laughs> oh my god, that was just destructo. You know, I didn't want to say the secret, but when we was at when Shin and I was at Evo, like we were going up against this um, this team. I think it was a team from New Mexico, where they had a Sheik Peach, and what they would do is like Sheik would stand like at a certain end, and Peach would stand at a certain end, and they both would down smash. But like they had to kind of do it. In like a certain type of order, so Peach will down smash first. It'll send you into Sheik. Sheik will down smash you back into Peach, and then once Peach sends you back Sheik's way, which and you won't get hit by the down smash, Sheik would fear you. So that was like that was just the type of combinations they had with their doubles team. So hope to see some of that here in this in this doubles. Um, but I, so far, I don't I don't I don't see it happening. Everybody just kind of playing the battle of attrition because. They just want that, you know, they just want that W right now. Nice. That's a classic Dewan going for the dash attack into either up smash or up air. That's really good with Fox versus Floaties at a certain percentage. I think at about 70. You could get a dash attack into like up smash or up air. So always like be wary of it as a Fox man. And I think this might be Fox. Okay, saving a second jump. He was doing good. He was doing good. Holy Warrior was doing good. Trying to hold that down for a bit, but it wasn't anything huge. Not allowing him to even get that up smash. Nice forward air. It would be an upset actually if the Wong brothers won. <laughs> this looking, this looking like how it's supposed to be. But uh, I'm not gonna count on the Wong brothers. They've been doing pretty good so far. I know that's that's just like good melee. Right, let me spread this link.
Ah. Uh, so as I took that short break, it apparently seems as though Holy Warrior has gone chic. And usually he always does this. If this Pikachu isn't working out for him, he's going to go chic. I think the reason why he does it is because Pikachu just may not be cutting it. You know what I mean? Pikachu just may not be pushing out the type of aggression that, you know, he wants. So... Nice down throw. Thought he was gonna go for that chain grab. You know, Holy Warrior usually doesn't like it when people chain grab him, so <laughs> he might be going back for the chain grab, who knows? Okay, okay. Couldn't get anything off of it. Gonna grab ledge? No, it doesn't. Oh, red team fighting back. Kind of playing from behind. I mean, in, in doubles, you, you always have like this type of feeling like, you know what, I still think we could get the comeback. It's only when your gut start to really wrench is when you know like, okay, we're gonna lose this. And I feel like red team, they don't have that gut wrenching feeling just yet. I think they know that this, this is still possible for them to, you know, mount a comeback. Yeah, grab ledge and, oh nice, very good DI by Holy Warrior. I noticed he's actually been working on his DI. Usually before in the past he would die from something like that, but his DI has gotten a lot more better in terms of like just, you know, keeping that stock. Nice, got the down throw, got the forward air. Shonen Kel without really good DI. This might be TK. Shonen Kel gonna jump off stage. No, he doesn't. Oh! No, Shonen Kel decided that he's gonna throw that away. Yeah, usually he does that. Like, he's like, you know what? Um, I don't need to be on the stage. I don't, I don't need to just keep fighting. I just need to move on to the next, to the next match kind of conserving that energy a lot of people think feel as though you know it has something to do with wanting to rage quit it has nothing to do with rage quit and you just kind of want to you know just go into the next game what's the score count is, is, is one one or did red team win twice okay okay it's one one all right now. i just had to make sure <laughs> the one with the classic suicide giving you that three stock startup Oh, Fox looking hella smooth right now. Nice. Oh, Sean, you know what? That was actually really good by DeWong. He was trying to get the shine spike. Wasn't able to get it. And he, yeah, he was able to get back to the stage. This is, this is actually going to look... This, this is looking pretty close. I mean, we... Oh, my! Got the double down smash. Shonen Kel doing such a good job of just kind of cleaning up, you know what I mean? Looking like room service, buddy. Got him? No, he doesn't. Nice, nice dash attack. Wasn't able to get anything big, though. Got him in a down smash again. My God. A double up smash. What is this? Why, why are we falling for these 2006 medal? That's what they said. The C-Stick was the only button back in the day, though. And he's just kind of just using it right now to his advantage. Wow, got, got a double shine, but nothing big. Nice forward smash. Damn. I, the one, the bros, just, oh. Oh man, I think my stream died. I probably ran out of data. But no worries. Let's get back to this local recording. Trying to fish for that back here. <laughs> and he's not allowing it. Oh man, got the game, but Shonen Kel looking so strong. Was able to save his partner right there, but he has to survive this because Blue Team just kind of looking really, you know, fresh with these stocks. Oh, double back here. Randall with the save. Is he going to be able to bring this back? No, he got the shine of the shield. And he got him. 
Damn, and that's what I call clean up. That's what they're supposed to be doing from a for a long time. I mean, and that that should have been done. That that should have been done prior. That should have been done prior. All right, here we go. You see about six or five. Okay, okay, okay. Now, it's a known fact that the brothers, they don't like Dreamland. Holy Warrior has already said to me that he can't see. And, um... The Wong just says that he dislikes it because it's so big, but I don't know. They're, they're looking pretty good on this. I think it. I think TK died by a mistake. Maybe thinking he was the blue sheik, and that happens sometimes in dittos, especially when you don't use tags. Nice. She looking clean, but Shonen Kel didn't die. He was able to hold on to that stock just a bit longer, and I think that's that's going to work in their favor. Oh, nice. Got a forward smash into down smash. I can't. Very good combo. Catch him on the roll in. Into more down smash. Nice. That was really good by Holy Warrior right there. Kind of throwing the needles. Preventing red team from double teaming Fox. Holy Warrior being smart. Getting the hell out of there. Nah. Knows he couldn't, he couldn't save his partner. Mutant King in the ledge at the moment. Very safe by Fox. Usually, when you go for the just a safe back air, the up tilts, the shines, like it's very hard to kind of approach Fox in that situation. You have to space yourself out because if you're in shield and you're trying to arc out a shield, Fox is always going to win. Unless you're like you're like really frame perfect with like nares or you know, nice. Got him with a safe pair again. Knew he was going to jump on with that forward air. Got him with a clip him with that forward smash, and yeah. Holy Warrior being smart, not going for back as he knows that he doesn't need to do it. You know, and just, just understanding that much, he was able to get away with it. Guess a down throw. Oh, TK just being a little too late on the draw with that drop down. Could have probably gone for a drop down weak back air. I would have pushed him off a bit. Oh, and just terrible with the draw right there. Nice. If they could wrap this stock up. Oh, that read the one to the hell. That was crazy. I mean, and TK didn't take advantage of his invincibility, didn't throw out any, hurt, any hit boxes, and, you know, Holy Warrior just being kind of just reactionary with that. Oh, got the down smash. Shonen Kel, no, like this, this is our last opportunity. I have to make this 2v1 work. But, you know, low percentage Fox, low percentage Sheik. Oh, man. Oh, damn, the follow ups right now just looking so crisp. Oh! Oh, is, is he going to kill him? No, Shonen Kel may be able to. And he was able to clip him off of the ledge. If Shonen Kel is going to make a comeback, he's going to have to make this work right here. But just the space in the both characters and that's it. Damn. And the Wong brothers taking it. 3-1.